Welcome back to Fox Nation. We're here again with Unheard. Looks oh. like you're getting the hang of this. Before okay, so we just finished our second test. I should inform you our acoustic detective system does have potential side effects. Ooh. For example, you may start hearing voices as the test continues. What? Also, like hearing voices when we're not meant to be hearing voices. There's nothing to worry about. I thought the whole thing was we're supposed to hear voices. When the exam is finished, depending on the outcome. outcome We'll provide any additional treatment you might Okay, so we're still running the exam. Now on to the next scenario. All right. To further test your abilities, higher profile we'll try case. a higher profile case. One I'm sure you remember from the news. Uh, click. Hello, miss. Clickety clickety. Whoa. The bombing that occurred last year the at bombing. the central booking complex downtown. A gruesome tragedy. Right. Crowded police station. So we're gonna stop terrorists. Twelve people, twelve, twelve, people, victims. twelve victims. Now, what's your take on this? Oh, this one might take a bit. All right, how long is the five minutes of audio? We have twelve people who brought who bought the bomb, brought the bomb, who detonated it, who is Raven? They like that. Oh, no. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name Dwight. Ellen. There he is, man. Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case. So uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? It's got a soft-spoken voice. Ask them to write you a release form. Let me just turn it up a little bit. An officer named there Jessica. We go. I need to go back to the Officer Schrader. You working the night shift tonight? Officer Schrader. <laughs> what a surprise. Yeah. I don't even have to this bust you. Ridiculous. You still end up here. What do you do this time? You wound me. I'm nothing if not a law abiding citizen. Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Well, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Oh, okay, okay. Captain Martin. Wait. Oh, there you go. Got something to take care of, is all. Well, I'll be. Flayed? And Doug? How's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck. Whoa. Are you... Okay, he said Blade first, so I'm gonna assume that's Blade. I'm gonna assume that's Doug, but that might be wrong. Don't act like you know me. You two, phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Schrader. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. Okay. So we'll name you... Hi, Officer Schrader. You don't think you could ask around and see when Chip's gonna get released for me, do you? Oh, so you own the place now, do you? Find out yourself. Mickey! Glad to see you! Officer! Mickey, okay, cool. Wait, this is a police station? Oh, no, oh this is a police nice station. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the Sea Monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Amir. Uh -huh. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did he say Tucker? Tucker and Cassidy. Cass Cassidy. This guy is great. He's giving everyone's oil, names. I see. And Ooh. wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I. Uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me this time of night? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got okay. to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. Here's my phone. Let me down too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You'll get him back when you leave. All right. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. You know, practice makes perfect. Un. You really are a moron. Ah, oh, whatever. Look here. I'm gonna show you something. See? This here's a phone I stole on the bus. I don't get it. You call me stupid for stealing flip phones, and then you steal one yourself. 
right. <laughs> that piece of shit probably ain't even worth ten bucks. Wait and see, my friend. Wait and see. That sounds. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, it's me. But don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you gotta help me out. I'm in a real bind. There's no way to watch this a bit faster. Solicitation, yeah. All right, all right. right. Short, so I just want the names of everyone. And I'm gonna have to fancy. follow a bit more. You know the feel? Keep this between us, though, will you? I called because you're the only one I can trust. You've gotta help me. Cops asking me for a grand to make this whole thing go away, else I'll be processed first thing in the morning. My own money? Think I have any? A dirty cop took my wallet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here talking to you, now would I? Anyway, you need to wire the money to my friend's bank account. One six five nine eight seven two six two. Oh wait, hold on. One six five nine eight seven two six. Bring that back just a little bit, my friend. Two six. Name's Mickey. Ocean six. Name's nine eight seven six. Account. Money to my friend's bank account. One six. Damn it. Five nine eight seven two six two six. Where's wait? Where's the other thing? Name's Mickey. All right, cool. Ocean. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I like the sea. Uh, you'll be doing me a real solid, a real solid, and I'll pay you right back as soon as I get out. Thirteen hundred big smackolas. The extra three hundreds for your trouble. Uh, nah, nah, don't mention it. Friendship's worth its weight in gold nowadays. Uh, anyway, old copper's back. Catch you later. You cool. really think it'll work, Mickey? He totally bought. Patience, my friend. Patience. We'll get the money soon enough. Oops. Uh, Sorry about that. It's fine. You just stole that guy's phone. That was something else. Something else? I'll show you something else. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. What's a phone to you, huh? This phone ain't worth squat if you're gonna just sell it. It's the hmm. mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone. It's access. Access to the owner's... Nah, never mind. You're too stupid to understand all that. What did I tell you, huh? There's my money. Damn, Mickey, you the man. I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this. Huh. Boom. Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Just dial it. Well, I'll be. Okay. So, oh, wait. Whoever that was. They have case, huh? But it's in an ongoing case, so. Uh... Where are the? But they're mine. All right. What? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. And off. I need to go back to. Her. <laughs> Officer Schrader, you work in the night. Oh, what a surprise! Excuse me, I'm nothing if not a law-abiding citizen. Hey, Blade, not a law-abiding citizen. Just you guys talking. Nope, you walk in silently. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Got something to take care of, is all. Well, I'll be. And Doug, how's life treating you guys? Shut it, you dumb fuck! Don't not look. Whoa! Me. You two are accompanying me so we can sort out the deep. All right, cool. So you own the place now, do you? I need it. Mickey! Glad to see you! Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another I'm gonna one. guess you're Who's Jessica. Fault? You think you're Daddy Warbuck? Because where the bathroom is. I think Inside he's a to your left. Good guy named. Officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. The sea monkey, was it? Hello, friend. You sound like the guy who bumped into him at the end. Yeah, how long do I have to pick you up? Customer you're trying to reach is not available. Please call back. Okay. The 
God damn it. Who are you calling at a time like this? Answer the fucking phone. So, so who's someone's calling someone at 220? It's not these two. It's not you. It could be Doug. But I'm still missing four names. Here we go. Are you on the phone, Doc? Martin. Where is this place, huh? Oh, fuck, I'm in lockup. Damn it. Are you still waiting? Okay. Did he just flush the bomb? No. Bother. Ah, oh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, that's quite a limit, our alcohol makes me need. Then he walks out. Oops. Sorry uh, about that. It's fine. Like a good friend. Well, hey there. Have to bother you again. All right. You, my friend, are a curious soul. Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you again. Come on in. Oh, speak of the devil. Uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. But you still got to fill this out. No, for crying out loud. It's not like I went on a killing spree. There, ta-da, signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm -mm. You two, we're going to reception. Okay. They haven't said anything. Mickey, glad to see you. You're the Officer, one who goes out to nice meet you. Name's Mickey, Mickey Ocean. I'll take you care want of the paperwork, Schrader. You want your stuff back? Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think you're daddy, Warbugs? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Wait, Inside, he's... Inside, to your left. Was he given the... He wasn't officer. given the wrong phone. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey. And then he goes in and he sits in the bathroom. Oh... Around now, he calls someone. Two twenty. So you're trying to call Doug. It's two twenty. You're not going to pick up the phone. Okay. It's me. Right. I'm at your place. Where are you? Okay, so it's not you two, because you're talking to you. Back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. I'll come find now. Oh. I have to bring Sting no, in. We should talk now. Huh? I'll come find you. No, Doug. Just came back to bring Sting in. Alright, so you walk Keep up the great work. You walked in with Sting. No? Today, burning the midnight oil, I see. And wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I. Uh, That's Sting. Mind. Who the hell's calling me at this time of night? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. Alright, cool, cool, cool. You, fool. Here's my phone. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Doug. Just came back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. Alright. So we know who Sting is. You're gonna go talk to you. Oops. Martin. But Captain Martin told me. Like I said. Hey, name. What's your name? Uh uh. Hey, babe, you knew. Jess, I'll take it from you. Knew it. But Captain Martin told me. Like I said, I'll take it from here. Mm, understood. Right. Let's 
tuck in my office. That's this one. You must be pretty important, Tucker, if you have your own office. And he said, Take Captain Mon. Please. Now, what the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got huh? everything under control. Picked up Sting and Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? All three of us in the same police station. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent? Kent. He... he couldn't run even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kent in a VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. Saw an opportunity, so I had him booked for public intoxication. That's the guy who's in the cell. Huh. Why'd Kent get there so early? You think the boss told him before the rest of us? I didn't see anyone else there. What's your boss look like? <laughs> nice try. Only us three have ever seen our boss in the flesh. He likes to keep a low profile, you know. The boss is right. Well, I wasn't trying to trick you. Just curious, is all. Yeah, but something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, yet I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Looks pretty sauce to me. Didn't even wake up on the ride over. Must have had himself a whole bottle. Or mm. five. Yeah, well, this guessing game won't get us anywhere. You keep an eye on those two. Okay, so... We can't let anything... Oh, come along. I'm gonna go see the boss. No, no, no. We can't let anything go wrong now. Okay. I'm gonna go see the boss. Okay. I'll see you out. You're gonna go see the boss. So around about now, everyone walks back. My test came back. Clean as a whistle. Yeah, yeah. Don't push it. Why are you here? Why are you here? So you know, have this place to do that. All that. Where did you come from? Where's my money? I'm running. You run back. You're Dwight. Hello, officer. Have you seen my phone? Oh, you again? That's got to be a record. He's yeah, misplaced it because you've got it. You seem to have misplaced it again. Here? Okay, so we know who detonated the bomb. How about this? Huh. Weird. He's only got one number. Chip detonated the who bomb. Who cares? Just dial it. Boom. Okay. We sorted that out. Now, who is Raven and who brought the bomb? Okay. So let's start with Kent. Do you say anything? So. You wake up at one minute? No, nope, you're still asleep. He's still asleep. <laughs> Wait, what? His phone was left on him? Why was his phone not taken from him? Oh, Dwight's calling Kent. No, it's not. That's three minutes. Oh, fuck. I'm in lockup. Wait, is that... Oh, that so you got the call at 2.20. True? No. It's 2.20. Yes, there's a man in the conference room. Go in there and... Damn it, who are you calling it? Why? What did he do? Okay, so... You wake up at three minutes. Oh, fuck, I'm in lockup. Damn, I missed the phone call. The customer you're trying to speak to is not available. Please call back. Who are you calling? Hello? Anybody here? Anybody still breathing? Well, would you look who's awake? Quiet in there. Hey, come on, let me out. What are you in for, huh? Let's see. Public intoxication. Beautiful. Why'd they even bother? Aw, oh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. I didn't even have that much. How come I passed out? Somebody slipped something in my drink. I still feel groggy. Yeah, yeah, I've seen plenty of guys like you, all mm -hmm. claiming they didn't drink that much. 
Sure, I'll bet you were totally dry in college or whatever. Having trouble walking straight. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. See, more proof that you shouldn't drink in your condition. This way, let's get you released. He's the one that can't run. Okay, that's easy. Well, for a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna start with the room down here. Hello, Chip and Jess. What are you talking about? Are you done? It was just a phone. Guy didn't even want to press charges, but you brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft. You broke the law. What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about an eye at something like this on night patrol. You're wasting everybody's time. I've had just about enough of you. Thankfully, you won't be my problem much longer. What? Somebody paid your ticket. I'm in no hurry. Though you can't say the same for the guy whose phone I pinched. He looked like a real complainer. His whose phone you stole. Come on in. Well, speak of the devil. Uh the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm okay. almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. So Chip but stole still Dwight's gotta phone. This out. Oh, Dwight had two phones. Out loud. It's not like I went on a killing spree. There. Ta-da! Signed and dated. Can I leave now? And the phone uh -huh. he gets back. You two, we're going to reception. Schroeder gives Dwight. Ends up being pickpocketed by Mickey. And then ends up being Mickey, called. Glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Okay, cool, Name's cool. Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should okay. be another one. Two phones? You think you're daddy warbugs? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the sea monkey, was it? Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Can you two walk out? I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Docker Cassidy. Burning the midnight oil, I see. And wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I uh never mind. Who the hell's calling me at this time of night? You get called by Doug. Sorry. You two talk. Take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to get back to Martin. Actually, no. We'll start. You gotta play the mountain. Play the mountain in this room. No, we're gonna start with. We're following you two, and then we're gonna follow play the mountain. So, Martin is Captain Martin. Yeah? It was just a car accident, Captain. Did that really require bringing us all the way in like this? I got somewhere I need to be. Yeah, are you picking on Doug? Quiet, both of you. I'm doing this by the book. And now that we're back at the station, I'm gonna make you take another breathalyzer. We blew with the scene and it came back negative. What more do you want? You gonna let us go or not? Congratulations, loudmouth. You're up first. Follow me. You, stay right here. Okay, then he takes Blade. Dog's over there. Police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. Did it ever king? Ah, oh, you're on a cuff cop. What the hell were you thinking? Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. What? Huh, okay. I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. So Doug's calling Tucker. Tucker's a dirty cop. Install him for as long as you can. Conference room? Why? What did he do? Car accident. A fake car accident. Only it didn't seem so fake to him. And I need you to keep it that way. Do whatever you need to do. Just don't you let him first. leave. Roger that. Word on the street is Raven's in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, mm. but I'll fill you in once I have more. Is Raven Sting? Alright, I've sent someone in to stall Doug. Now tell me what you know. 
but make it quick. Ah, uh, then Jessica doesn't staged? last very long because she gets sent Won't down. Won't last much time. Yeah. Doug's okay. Already getting suspicious. Doug's. How much do you know about criminal? Me? I've heard all sorts of things. Some of them were so hot with blockbuster. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. A dirty cop. I've been undercover as part of his organization for two years. Okay. Okay. Everything you've heard about him is true. After he pulls off a major heist, he wipes out his crew and gets a new identity. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted, murdered his guys, and scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. Okay, All so... the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That explains why it I seems can't like find it's... a single person who knows what this psycho Do looks I? like. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to positively ID Raven if he was standing right in front of me. But if this precious pattern of his means anything, we might have a chance of nabbing him tonight. Raven is the He's one who himself kills nothing short of a fortune running the rackets in this city. Everyone the else. Years. So when he calls a meeting with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, so it has I'm to be a survivor. To tie up loose ends. It can't be. Sh uh, uh, it's, it's not straight up. To one of his lieutenants. No wonder Doug's throwing a hissy fit about getting up to that hotel. He wouldn't miss this get together for the world. He's been wanting more territory for a while now. All right, he all thinks right. he's got a shot of the crowd. So Dwight walks out and he so gets vicious. pickpocketed by Mickey. The rest of the underbosses are probably headed there as we speak. Mickey Raven gives the phone to Chip. To show up later. I'm you don't think too. by any chance that Doug is Raven. I don't think he is, but I can't say for certain. A lot of guys will be there. Any one of them could be him. You if leave we the... Sweep up the whole group, we can sort uh, of them. Prison? I guess we'll see. Okay. You head up there with Doug, I'll put together a squad to back you up. Got it. Now let's make this real. Fucking cops! You ain't got shit on me! DUI! You don't... They always oh, walk out. Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Drunk or not, you still hit a government right here. vehicle. Why are you here? Officer, have you seen my phone? Yeah, yeah, don't push it. Why are you here? Yeah, you right. here. How are you here? Doug and Sting know each other. You look like you're out of range. Oh, does... Wait a minute. Does Dwight... Hello, Sergeant. Call it once he sees everyone? Here's my phone. You can pat me down, too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. Get okay, him so the bomb is on Sting. Because he hasn't been pat down. Because Tucker's the one who pat him down. But Tucker's a dirty cop. So Sting has the bomb on him. Oops, sorry, the mic. Ah, oops. And then these guys talking about Raven's coming. You talk to Blade, who's undercover cop. Doug's a criminal. Just you and me now, Sting. What are you guys trying to pull, huh? I huh? mean, setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Now that you mention it, Tucker has been acting strange lately. Before he brought you in, he was up at the Mountain Hotel. Picked up what? a drunk. Guy's still lying and holding. Mountain Hotel? What are the odds? What's that drunk look like? Like any other dirty drunk. Had himself a good limp, though. His leg, was it prosthetic? And uh, did he have a scar on his right eye? And how do you know all that? You know the guy? Interesting. Doug's behind this, no question. Doug? Why's that? Earlier today, our boss informed us he was going to choose his successor. Only me, Doug, and Kent have a shot, really. Now Doug asked Tucker to lock me and Kent up. It's so obvious. He wants to make sure he's the only candidate. Damn! You're telling me that drunk was an underboss? He took a bullet for the boss. That's how he lost his leg. That prosthetic leg of his, that was a gift from our boss, too. Got anything else for me? I gotta get to that hotel. Actually, there is something else. I just heard from Martin that it's highly likely Raven's about to resurface. Raven? Get out of here. If Martin said so, there's gotta be some truth behind it. You've heard of Raven, too? Only rumors. Word on the street is Raven kills anyone who gets a look at his face. All right, Sting brought the Once bomb. He's made enough money. He runs off and gets himself a new identity. Chip detonated the bomb. Knows what it looks like. Raven is Dwight. Holy shit! 
That's cold, man. Don't tell me you're Raven. If I was him, you'd be the first to go. <laughs> Just cut this bullshit and get me out of here. Come on. But what am I going to tell Tucker? Uh, let me worry about him. Let's go. You all walk out at once. That clears a whistle. Okay, yeah, yeah, don't dirty. push it. Drunk or not, you still hit him. Why are you here? Why are you here? Ah, uh, don't know. So we have Raven. Ah, uh, okay. I'm just gonna go for it. Um, Sting brought the bomb. Chip detonated the bomb. Hello, Sergeant. Then, give it a try. We've got Hello, officer. Have you seen my phone? Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Just dial it. Boom. Alright, chip. There goes Sting. Chip and Dwight. I'm good, I'm good. I brought the bomb. Sting. Get that bomb. Chip. Raven is Dwight. Yes, I think I've discovered the truth. You need three answers. You, right now you have two. What? Two. Who brought? Okay. The only thing. All right. So let me just. If I keep, I think I got the. So who brought the bomb? Hello, Sergeant. It's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of it. Mickey Ocean. <laughs> Rookie. Tucker comes in. Tucker. <laughs> Cassidy. Cassidy comes Burning in. The midnight oil, I see. Sting and comes in. Wow. Who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I. Uh, never mind. You, Tucker gets a call. You go up, and then they Cassidy, say that Tucker is the one who patted down the Sting. I've got to answer this. Does one, that mean? You. Phone. Wallet. Everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gotta pat me down too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Okay, so the one I'm most unsure about is who brought the bomb. So if I leave... If I just do a random guess and say it's Martin, it can't be Martin, I should still get two correct. Yep, yeah, okay, so I am right. I am wrong. Uh, who brought the bomb? Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Unless it was put into Kent's leg? But it wouldn't be put into his leg because he would know. Okay, so uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. Ah, the two phones. What do I need to do? One is the Who bomb and one is the... Ask them to write your... So it's Dwight. Damn it. Okay. Um, hmm. That was too easy. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Phones. Hey, Dwight. Yeah, let me check again. Theft case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case, so uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. Officer Schrader. You working the night shift tonight? Well, what a surprise. Uh, I don't even have to bust you. You still end up here. What do you do this time? Knock, knock. Excuse me, officer. Sorry to have to bother you again. Speak of the devil. Uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem, I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. But you still gotta fill this out. No. Who could it be? Out loud. It's not like I wanted a Who killing brought spree. The bomb? There. Ta da! Signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm -mm. So Chip tried to steal you two a phone. We're going from to him. reception. Unless Chip is no no no. Raven's right. Because I didn't change the answer. Misha. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork. It's not you. It's not you. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, I brought. I lost two of Is these. It there should be another one. Because Mickey was the one who was setting up 
But there's no way he would set him up. There could be. No, there's not. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name. I'm missing something. What are you, good friend? I've got something to take a lot. I think I know enough about you. The one thing I'm missing is Doug and Jessica. Over here. Because they don't talk for very long. What's your name? Uh uh. Hey, babe, you knew? Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me. Like I said, I'll take it from here. Hmm, understood. Okay. Let's talk in my office. It can't be anyone that died who bought the bomb. There's no way it's Shredder. Take a seat, please. And if now, it's not... What the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Oh, Tucker doesn't know Nothing that Blade that really covered cop. I've got everything under control. Picked up stink. So he's trying to call. No. Did he flush the toilet? As in, like, flush the phone down the toilet? Because it doesn't make sense because the explosion was down here. He calls twice, flushes the toilet, then walks out. And then he goes out. Does he talk to Schroeder? Sorry about that. He gets pickpocketed. It's fine. You just stole that guy's phone. It was something else. Something else? I'll show you something else. Uh, look at me, Chip, and tell me. What's a phone to you, huh? This phone ain't worth squat if you're gonna just sell it. It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone. Dwight it's comes access. back. Access to the owner's... Ah, never mind. You're too stupid to understand all that. Where'd I tell you, huh? There's my Damn, money. Damn, Mickey, you the man! I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got... Hello, officer. Have you seen my phone? Oh, you again? That's gotta be a... Who cares? Just dial it. You seem to have... Do you get it? Because it was on the step. So, brought is paid. So, whoever sends the money at... Hello, Sergeant. Stupid to understand all that. Where'd I tell you, huh? There's my money. Okay, so whoever done it at 4.45. Oh, Mickey, you the man. Check everyone at 4.45. It's not Schrader. You head up there with Doug. I'll put... It's not you two. Come on. But what am I going to tell Tucker? It's not you two. I remember. To there, will you? We can't let anything go wrong now. I'm gonna go see the boss. Okay, I'll see you out. No one uses their phone. You know, for a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. Then what? Okay, brought is paid, and it's not Mickey. You know, for a fact, even though Mickey asked for it. That's gotta be a record. Yeah, I, uh, why are you here? Why are you here? So it's not Mickey, it's not Dwight, and it's not Sting. Okay, I'm just gonna guess Schrader because I'm just getting conf I'm not confused. I just feel like I'm missing something. No. Then okay, 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 okay. I'm getting on the verge, or I'm just gonna guess everything. <laughs> Being pretty Hello, honest. Hi, Officer Schrader. You don't think you could ask around and see when Chip's gonna get released for me, do you? Oh, so you own the place now, do you? Find out yourself. Mickey, glad to see you, Officer. Nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Name's. 
right here. And do the oh, sorry for the trouble. Who is the white calling? The sea monkey? At 220. Is it duck? Okay, any Any second now. Let's get forward. It's not done. It is dark. Tucker, it's me. I'm at no, your place. You. Where are you? So is it? Because it was on. Was it put into Kent's Lake? All right. All right. I'm gonna cheat. I'm actually just gonna cheat. I've already guessed you. It, there's no way it's Jessica. There's, there's no way. Okay, thought so. Schrader. Is it Schrader? No. Is it Chip? It, it can't be Chip, can it? No, I didn't pay for it. That's not Martin. Mickey. I've already guessed Mickey. Blade. No. Doug. It could have. Is it Doug? No. Tucker. Cassidy. Wait, do I got something else wrong? Sting, because it, it's not. I guess Sting. So if I change this from chip, I guess Schrader. I should only get one right. Okay, so I know Chip is 100% right. If I change this from Dwight to say Kent, I should only get one right. Okay, so Dwight is 100% correct. I, why do I feel like I've guessed everyone? Sting, okay, I'm gonna go backwards. Any more time. Tucker. I've already guessed Tucker. Doug. What? Blade. It, it can't be Captain Martin. It's not. Then is it Mickey? The one who is at the front. Who bought the uh, bail for Chip. No, so it's, it, is it Chip, the one who stole the phone? No, it's not Chip. Is it Schrader, the one who's uh, the security guard? It's not Schrader. Is it Jessica, the new first year, the new recruit cop? No. Is it Kent, the one who was drugged down to sleep? What? I, what? I already guessed Kent. I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay. I thought I guessed him a while ago when I guessed that it was put into his leg. That oh, I feel like I'm an idiot. I, you know what? You know what? Close case. I'm. I don't know how I'm. I went to the hotel room in the case of the place and found Kent in a VIP room. Sucker was only three sheets to the wind. I think the boss told him before the rest of us. Yeah, something's up. I've seen Kent drink for years, and I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Joe watched me. Legs a bit heavier. Oh my gosh. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted. Murdered his guys. And scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. Got that bit. Oops! Sorry about that. Yeah, the oh, there's something else? I've got this! Huh. Weird. He's only got one number. Who cares? Just dial it. 
He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running rackets in the city the past few years. So when he calls on meeting with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, I'm guessing he's looking to tie up your sentence. I was at the Mountain Hotel. I saw that shot outside. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. I didn't realize oh, I that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. God damn it, who are you calling a time like this? Answer my fucking phone. I see. Does it strike you as odd that these situations seem to be full of coincidences? I Sorry. feel like I had the logic, and but I don't know what happened. Great job. Did I just not read it properly? We're going to end the, end the episode You're here. I through these examples that can't believe I resorted to guessing, I and then even when I guessed... You know All what? Right. I think I'm just one. tired. Tell me, detective. Anyways. Do you enjoy the theater? I never want to do that cheat and guess type thing ever again but I don't know I need a nap thank you for joining